now we are in Luke's Laus. Laus Lake. There's a portage into the secret lake. Time to put the kicks on. All right, first portage of the sea. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hang on a second. Just hang on. Whoa, whoa. You're ruthless. Yeah, I am. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm good. Hey, did you hear me? What? I'm fine. Oh, okay. Well, I came to help anyways. Thanks, bud. So you may already know if you've been here, but we are in Kawartha Lakes Provincial Park, and we launched out of Louse Lake. No, it's right. We launched out of Long Lake, and uh, we're on a four-day trip. One of the things we would really like to happen on this trip is, uh, well, Ben and I are big fans of tacos. We want to catch some Lakers and eat some tacos. But we brought some stuff that's a little hard to portage with. We got some hard shell tacos and then we have some fresh ingredients. So we're hoping we can keep them fresh until we actually catch a Laker. It's also like really warm out. Summertime is not the best time for lake trout fishing, especially out of a canoe. In fact, we uh, asked our friend, hey, what's, what are some tips for fishing Lakers here? He said don't. But if we don't, we're gonna be eating a pretty bad meal at the end of this because we are both depending on these tacos for one of our meals. And we're gonna be meeting up with somebody that you might know. And hopefully we'll do some fishing with her too. And it's bass opening week. There's so many things going on on this trip. So stay tuned. This is gonna be fun. We're really buggy. So there's a Cascade waterfall here at the park. And on the Unlostify maps, it's like rated one of the top waterfalls in the area. So we're looking forward to checking this out. So that's the portage we want to take, but this is the portage with the waterfall and I can hear it. Nice. All right. Ugh. Portage, and then we're on the lake we're camping at. Let's get going. Let's go. The canoe's getting away. <laughs> cast, cast, cast. Hurry. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Get it, get it. Oh God. Get your rod, get your rod. Yeah. <laughs> I just crossed your line. Wow, Ben. Okay, it's kind of stuck in the pads. Oh, that's it. Slow and steady. Slow. Yes. Okay, slow. Slow. Oh. Go get your other rod. You're okay. That's it. Slot again. It's okay. It might still get trapped like the thunder there. It is. Slow and steady. And this is exactly... It fell off. It fell off. It's okay. You're good. It's drifting. It's drifting towards us. And this is why you tie off. I've got a, a painter line on there too. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> it's gonna slide right up to the bow, which is okay. This is my tense face. Things are tense right now. <gasps> slow, slow, slow. If you can get it hooked around on the bow, that'd be better. Can you try and bushwhack? No, you're good. Here, I will go and bushwhack. Dude, just pull it through there. You're hooked on the bow. You're good. Reel her in, bud. Bring her in. Okay, hey, hey, stop frigging around. <laughs> we don't have the boat yet. All right, so. <laughs> nice. I, uh, <laughs> I win the biggest catch of the weekend. <laughs> uh, 45 pounder. <laughs> <laughs> so what did we learn here, Ben? Let's tie off. So Ben and I, we, we came across some rapids here. So we want to practice uh, some of the stuff we learned at, at Paddle uh, Paddle Fest, Palmer Fest. There you go. <laughs> Gotta put my life jacket on. We're good? Good. Okay, we shouldn't be doing this without helmets. Keep that in mind, but we don't have them. So we're gonna do what we got. So we gotta come in a 45 degree angle. Are no, no, no. Yeah, we're ferrying. We gotta go right to the rapids. Okay. 
Oh my gosh! Keep the angle, keep the angle, dude! Oh, oh. nice, oh. nice, 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 oh, nice! Okay, yeah. oh, very, yeah. Eddie, 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 oh, Eddie, Eddie! Yeah. Oh. Oh, nice. Dude, dude, you almost lost hey, it. Hey, paddle clap. Paddle clap. Boom! Yeah. Hey, that was a good one. That was a yes, good one. Yes, dude! I almost want to do it again, but we gotta go. Here's our first beaver dam. Oh sweet, we can go right over top of this one, I think. This was the second one? Third. Oh yeah, second out of three. Okay. Follow the tongue, follow the tongue. Power. Yeah, 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 nice. And then we go to the right, and there's a beaver dam. Oh, it's covered. Yeah, baby. That's sweet. Nice. That's it. We're done getting out of the boat. We're done getting out of the boat. <laughs> yeah. Now it's just a camp. Our campsite. It's just right there. Let's get going. Oh, there's a picnic table. It's so great. I didn't bring a chair. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, don't let the boat float away, eh? <laughs> Typical at the Quartha sites. Fire pit with a rusty grate, picnic table, tent pad over there. Well, there's a couple tent pads. I'm gonna start the fire because I wanna eat dinner early and I need the fire to cook my meal. Sweet. I'm only cutting up enough wood for me to cook though. If you want a fire later, you gotta cut your own wood. Oh, thanks. Cause it would be just a fire from the moment, right? You would, you'd go somewhere else? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't want a fire later. Okay, cool. Okay. Ben's got a friend. Got a hitchhiker. He actually doesn't look like he's too deep. So hang on, it's not focused. Quick, come on, I don't It's care. already in there. I don't think that's how you do it. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't too deep. No, he only had like the surface skin. Yeah, nice. That's that's the biggest tick I've seen. So we should probably check the rest yeah. of ourselves, eh? I've never seen one like that. It looks like brown no, with white spots. It's like, yeah. <clears throat> What's a new one? It might just be a dog tick. I don't it's know. a disease one. It's a disease one for sure. Now when I get back, I want supper ready, you hear? We need water. Ba, 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 ba. Oh. <laughs> it's a lot of weight to try and lift out of the water. Oh, yeah. yeah, I imagine that's probably what it's like to lift a huge muskie out. Forty-two days later, I'm still <laughs> trying to split this log. It's been quite the task. Now I'm hungry. Uh, oh, it's gonna go. We're gonna. Split you. <laughs> so worth it to bring an axe. <laughs> this would have been done an hour ago. You Almost, no dude, one more hit, one more hit. Look at you've actually broke this part now. It was already broken. No, it wasn't. Go. It's gonna go. And that's teamwork, right there, buddy. I did 99% of this. Whose idea was it to use that as a, as a wedge? Mine! <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was it to look for a wedge? Just stop. Just trying to claim my, some credit here. Good job, buddy. That deserves a swig. You deserve a drink after that. Okay, so I've wanted to do this for a long time actually, and I haven't yet. I usually bring a steak when I go camping on the first night. Lots of people cook it on the coals. I've never done it, I wanna try it. So I'm doing that tonight because I don't have a grate. I, so first you have to blow the loose ashes off the logs, otherwise that stuff will just stick all over your meat. So I'm just gonna give it a blow. <gasps> oh, the dragonfly in my head. Ben and I were just talking about how dragonflies and humans are like buddies. You know how uh, mores? Mo no, that's an eel. 
I can't, w comment below what the name of those uh, fish are that latch onto sharks and they have this like harmonious relationship. Dragonflies and humans are kind of like that. That's my boy. Okay, so anyways, you gotta blow the ashes off. Oh, shoot. And then you just put the meat on it. Did you blow the ashes off onto your steak? Oh gosh. Oh, that's not good. Oh no. Okay. What are you um, gonna do? Uh oh. Uh oh. Jeez, I need some tools. I need some tools. He's panicking. He's panicking. <laughs> Okay, so I need to bring these logs closer together. He needs to bring those logs closer together. In case you missed that. There, okay. We are good! Oh, You saved it? Oh, he just took off. Bye, Bill! I love Bill. <laughs> <clears throat> I would say that uh, cooking steak on a fire works. It gets the job done for sure. Like, this is tasty. Oh, yeah. Uh, I did see some fish. We just, there was something right on the bottom and it looks like a couple smaller fish up above it. Oh, I got a fish. I got a fish. Definitely. Oh, it feels pretty good too. I don't know what this is. It hasn't come up yet though. <gasps> Adam's got a fish. Is this our laker? Dude, it totally is. Totally is. Get it, get it, get it. Dude, in here, in here, in here. Keep it under the water. Keep it under the water. Yes, yes, dude, 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 yes, <laughs> that's PB right there, that's bigger than the one in Algonquin. That is bigger than one in Algonquin, yeah. Oh man. I'm so stoked right now. Oh, that feels so good. Just stop. It's got so much energy. Dude, that's sweet. It's not much bigger than the one in Algonquin. Actually, it's probably about the same size. Oh, it wants to go. A little bigger, yeah. Okay. You want a picture or just let it go? We'll let it go. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Sweet, <laughs> dude. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. That's awesome. Slap it. Nice. Boom. Okay, so we could eat that. We, we, we just had dinner. We're not making tacos tonight. That one gets to go free. That tells us a bit of a pattern, though. That was a silver lure. Mm-hmm. So and it was, that was, we were in. Silver lure feet. with an orange belly, 30 feet. But remember I, we, I said we came over some fish. There was one on the bottom. There was some stuff about yep. 10 foot up. I have a feeling that was probably that fish that chased it. Well, you know what? I haven't caught a lake trout yet in season. I've caught some nice lakers out of season. So they don't count. Sick. <laughs> Stoked on that. You gotta get a lake trout, man. Put me on one. Let's do what I'm doing. Oh, on, on. On? Watch this weeds, it's not kicking now. No, there we go, okay. Oh, it is a fish. It's a little bass. <laughs> he's very cooperative right now too. Yeah, he's gotta be sick or something. Fish? Nice. That's nice. Nice. Oh, that was really good. Okay. That was a nice little tug there. Yeah. That it's fighting bring... like a laker. It yeah. bites at first and then it's just like gone. Any more head shakes? No, I haven't got a single one since the first few. But you're definitely not, like you're pulling a fish? I think so, it does not feel like weeds. Oh, it feels good, dude. Oh well, yeah, nice dude, lake trout. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Yes, buddy, <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, so we can get some laker tacos tomorrow night. I feel confident that we can get some Laker talk. Oh yeah, sweet. <laughs> Let's see the release. Let's little person go, little thing go. First in season Laker. First fish, no second fish, I guess. Dude, That's we both one. got one. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that never happens. That never happens. <laughs> and Jake said that it couldn't be done. Yeah, that's right. Oh, <laughs> she suck yourself. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> I'm becoming an experienced angler. Look at the purple in the sky. That's gorgeous. Right? Oh, nine o'clock. Gotta take my pills. Gotta get back. Okay. <laughs> get on. Really? Yep. Nice. That's good to do. Nice. <laughs> Sick, dude. Yeah. 
Ben's got another one. Yeah. Another Laker. That is a good, it feels nice for sure. It, it feels like a bass the way it's fight. Uh, no. No, it's a Lake Trout. It, it would have come up. It would have come up. It's another Laker. I think this is a good one. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's better. Nice dude. Dude. The net. There it goes. Grab it. Nice. Yeah. Let her go. There he goes. Hey, paddle saw, buddy. Three Lakers in the boat, dude. Yeah. Boom. Okay, you must be able to hear that. Mosquitoes absolutely swarm. Nice. Sweet. Is it good wood? Oh yeah. Nice. Dude, I really thought that the bugs were supposed to stop at a certain time. Yeah. They're relentless right now. So bad. Oh my gosh. I also really want to catch some bass on my fly rod tomorrow. Oh yeah, it's bass opener tomorrow. Yeah, buddy. Let's go fishing. Right? Is it, is, hey, maybe I Laker know, tacos tomorrow. Some, Lake, no, let's make sure Laker tacos tomorrow because right. that, that, that coleslaw is not gonna last. <laughs> Are we gonna eat it even if it's brown and mushy? Yeah, we have to. Yeah. I think if we stick to our strategy, we'll fish for bass all day and then in the evening, strictly lake trout. Okay. I can't even believe we caught those lake trout. When Jake said that there's like not a great chance of us catching them, I was like, all right. There goes that idea. But then I thought about it. I was like, dude, we caught a Laker in August in, in Algonquin. Yeah, you're right. We can totally do that. See you tomorrow. I see you. I get you. Huh? I see you. I get you. No wonder this guy can't catch any fish. He's always sleeping, sleeping in. It's bass opening day, doesn't he know? We got some fish to catch. Oh, I can't wake him. <laughs> Feel horrible waking him. But it's like eight o'clock, man. Come on, get up. So currently Front Neck Outfitters are actually lending me pretty much my whole camp set up here. It's not ultra light, definitely light enough for portaging. Nice Aurora two-person tent from Nemo. Huge vertical walls, super spacious in there. I really dig that. And look at this sleeping pad. Oh, yeah. And then I'm using the men's, the Disco, Nemo Disco. And the super sick thing about this, it's got these like gills here, thermal gills. So you like unzip that and it like allows the heat to escape. That was super clutch last night. That was awesome. All right, that's it, come on. Adam, 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 Adam. Hey, Daddy. Let's go to the park. The park? Yeah, come to the park. Mm. You didn't find your toothbrush, eh? Is it gone in the forest somewhere? Face remind me. I guess I better go find my toothbrush. When we were hanging in the bear bag yesterday, last night, we kind of got lost in the woods. <laughs> I dropped my toothbrush and toothpaste. <sighs> no luck. Also sucks because it's kind of like littering. It totally is littering. Darn. Oh well. <clears throat> All right. What's what's the game plan for today? Well, we are going to Cherry. We are right here right now, so we got a super short distance to go. Also, we have to eat tacos tonight. Our ingredients are still fresh. I don't know about fresh. Yeah, that coleslaw is not going to last much longer. No. And our hard shell tacos—they seem to be intact. <sighs> That tiny little speck on my finger, that's a tick. That's a bit of an issue. Okay, can we get going? Okay, we gotta get going. You think CAA will come all the way out here? It's 
supposed to get up to 34 today. Here we go. Just under 300 meter portage. Mostly uphill. We got this. That was graceful. How was that? I think that guy in the boat called it the stairway to hell. <laughs> I agree with that statement. <clears throat> we have a little paddle here to do, and then we got our portage right over there. Help me, man. This is the attitude on you. Help me. You sound like a little kid. <laughs> yeah, I'll grab your paddle. venomous. He's got a triangular head. Usually that means there's venom glands, but I don't see a rattle. I do not know what kind of snake that is, but if you do, let me know. Super cool. He hasn't moved. He's been perfectly still here. I almost walked on him. Okay, I'll leave you alone, dude. Ugh, I got work to do anyways. This is it. it. Looks like a field. A baby snake is more dangerous than a full-grown snake. They don't have control of their venom glands yet. Mm. Like at first I was like, oh yeah, this is that's interesting. But then I'm walking, I'm like, they could be anywhere. They could be <laughs> hiding. Okay, we found a much easier put in. It's just over there, so we're gonna take everything over there. Ben said he just saw a little lizard. I mean he's probably hiding in the rocks now. Yeah, he's probably long gone. Yeah, oh, there he is. He's coming over to you. Oh yeah, here. Sweet, look at that little guy. You're good, dude. We're gonna leave you alone. Next time on National Geographic, we're gonna grab him by the neck! <laughs> do they do that on National Geographic? Crikey! <laughs> <laughs> Since this is messy, we're gonna have to get dirty, so... It's time to get into serious mode. That's 4x4 four four for you noobs out there. These things can go through anything. Anything. Just two more nights. It's just two more nights. It's only taken us an hour to do this tiny portage. It's okay, it's freaking hot today. I'm totally fine with moving slow. I'm glad that person here watching is here to witness the fact that I do all the paddling and you just frig around the whole time we're on trips. Hey, at least I like to get the snacks out. Hey, can you get some snacks actually? Yeah. Dude, I thought you said the heavy lifting was done. Like you said those words. I said almost done. This is a rock wall, like somebody put this here. I know. How could they do that to us? Home sweet home. Jerry Lake. Is Ben gonna get on him? He's getting a nibble. Oh, I see it. I see the nibble. Make it happen, Ben. <gasps> oh, got it. Nice, dude. That was sick. That was sick. <laughs> I got it. Nice. I got that. Hello, ladies. Largy. Nice too. <laughs> hey, if you're liking this video so far, we'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Oh, that breeze, the shade. Oh, I feel like way better already. Yeah, me too. There we go. Oh, get him! Get him! No! Ah. I touched him. I touched him. That was a toasty one today, that's for sure. What are you thinking, buddy? He's a little breezy right now. You think we're gonna get on him? Yeah, I think so. Fish. Thanks. Smally? Yeah. 
it's so dark. Yeah, I know. That just looks awkward as heck. I wouldn't be surprised because it's high water. They're like pushed right up shallow. Uh, if you skip that stick bait underneath those trees there, I bet. I bet they'll be up there. Have you ever skipped a Senko before? No. You do it real quick. And actually it helps to, uh, oh, there you go. Look at that. They're right in there. Oh, yeah, just yeah. got hit. I saw that. Yeah, that was sweet. I just saw the Senko disappear. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that, Jeff? Milky Way on the fluke. I just tied that on. Just a little guy, but he ate it right off the top. Well done on that color, Jeff. Nice. Get in here, Bass. Number two on the Milky Way. If we want to get out of the wind, we should actually fish the other bank. Yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. Constantly fix the boat. It's nice and calm on the other side. Sure, try it if you want. I'm doing it. Come on, come on. Nice. Yeah. I got the net. Oh, dude. It's a nice one. It is. All right. Laker tacos. Yes. Hello. You going to put them on the stringer? Yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah. Or do you want to just go back now and cook up dinner? Yeah. This flicker minnow yep. is a new confidence bait for lake trip. Nice. <laughs> You're gonna be a taco, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Sweet. Boy, if we weren't so whipped, if we weren't so exhausted from the day, <laughs> we'd be celebrating pretty hard right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm super happy. Land ho! You did it. Thanks, man. You know what that means? What's up? Now it's taco time. It's taco time. All right. Yep, two fillets. Ben's just turning those fillets into nuggets. And we're gonna to toss them in the homemade batter. Get them all tossed up in there. If you're looking at the setup, by the way, and thinking to yourself, that looks pretty sketchy. Well, you're correct. It is kind of sketchy. Check that out. It's cool. It's not just cabbage. It's coleslaw. Uh, a blend of green and red mix. cabbage and carrots. Do you smell? It doesn't smell horrible. What do you think? It doesn't smell appetizing. Mm, okay. Sans greeneries. We're gonna have tacos, with green onion, and salsa is somewhere here. Oh, and lime. Oh, nice. We're gonna have that with the gin. Look at that. Oh, I think it's about jacket time. Yeah, they're getting nasty. Mm. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude? Mm -hmm. Sweet, dude. The precious fish tacos I ever had. Mm -hmm. Dude, that was so good. Oh, yeah, man. Nice work. Thanks for catching that fish. Thanks for uh, cooking it up. Like, I didn't think it was going to happen. Yeah. But it just did, and it worked out perfectly in time for dinner, so. So we've been keeping an eye on the forecast and uh, we've got a storm coming, a potential storm. 70% um, chance of rain and chance of thunderstorms tomorrow. So that's around noon. So we got to hustle out of here uh, tomorrow to try and beat the storm. But also we got a big portage ahead of us too, 1.1K. Uh, and it's got two exclamation marks on it, meaning it's gonna be a challenging one. <sighs> it's warm. Right, enough of this work, man. Let's go fishing. Yep, there we go. <gasps> yep, come on. 
Cut a base? Cut a base. Nice. See you later, little gaffer. Well, it's not a bad one, actually. One of the bigger ones. Oh. Large mouth. Later, dude. First cast on the Whopper Popper. Ain't playing no games. <laughs> oh, nice. I changed the speed and it's it smacked it right when I tried to like change the speed. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Keep it down. I'm trying to. Okay. That's a big one. That's the one, Ben. He's so fat. I can't see it. Oh my god. Yeah. Dude. I'm gonna turn around, okay? Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, that's a giant bass. He's got a huge head. There, baits out. Sick. Thanks, dude. Hold up your catch. Oh, dude, that's a fatty. Yeah, this is a really good chunker. Oh. This is my ba best bass of the season so far. Dude, easily. Dude, it's so fat, it's got a huge head on it. <laughs> That's a nice bass, man. Nice, dude. And then? Yeah, look at that bucket mouth. <laughs> Peace. Dude. That's sick. That was the bass we were looking for. Yeah, for sure. Boom! On the chatterbait, man. Nice. So I was doing a steady retrieve, and then all of a sudden I just did a quick jerk. And after I did the jerk, the, the vibration stopped. And I'm like, so I went and tugged again. I'm like, oh, I'm on. So it was weird. It was like, he must have been following it, and then it tried, the bait tried to escape him, and he's just like, nope. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. It was the same thing again. I changed cadence. And it was right when I changed cadence that it smacked. On again, little guy, but feisty one. Yeah, one of the better ones, though. I'd say this is my second biggest one of the trip. I can actually hold it for a picture. Yeah, they're a good looking fish. Oh. Well, I'm not complaining. This is this is fun. All right, let's go back and then we'll start cutting up some wood, get a fire going. Tomorrow, <laughs> we're supposed to get some thunderstorms. 70% <clears throat> chance of rain and wind of 20, gusts up to 40. Um, super not cool. So we're gonna wake up early and we're gonna try and get there as soon as we can to try and just get set up, get everything kind of rainproofed and protected and then just batten down the hatches and kind of prepare. Oh, I slept like garbage. Hey, Adam. It's after five. Uh, how are the mosquitoes? I just got up, I don't know. Ben didn't sleep good last night, so it's gonna be rough with him having to deal with me. But my will is strong. <laughs> I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna yell at you. <laughs> Beautiful morning though, look at that sun. Yeah. There's something about it though. We're after six right now. Our plan yesterday was to be on the water by seven. But I think we're gonna get there. And that gives us about five hours to make it to camp until the storm is scheduled to arrive. So, storm will get here by noon. We've got that 1K portage that looks like it's gonna be challenging. So, I'm already feeling exhausted right now. <laughs> Hopefully we can make it to camp before the storm hits and hopefully this portage doesn't kick our ass too bad. Start from scratch. We are here and we gotta get to here. You know what's funny? It might be easier to backtrack. We know what we're dealing with, with those portages. And but then, that portage with the with the snake with the snake coming down here was tough like that was mostly downhill but it was short i really think that uh we could it could be easier because th those beaver dams and stuff that wasn't too much of a pain to deal with okay well you're taking the boat up the hill we're gonna take on the devil we know rather than the devil we don't know also we're trying to beat a storm what are you doing man we gotta go well you know me they nicknamed me cinderella man because i always leave something behind so just gonna take a look i thought it was because you were a princess 
Well, that's the supporting factor. Oh, okay. Some of the hardcore trippers out there may be like, man, just tough it up. Just go and do it. But why? I got nothing to prove. We've got nothing to prove. We're just out here for a good time, and that's canoe tripping. Plans change, you can be adaptable, you can change your plans. You don't have to stick to something and be bullheaded. Things change. Plus, we've been having a fantastic trip so far, so neither of us are feeling like we're missing out by not hitting Cox Lake. I think it is this our portage on the right here? I think it is. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? You just seemed drained. You seemed you seem uh, like your mood's just a little bit on the lower level. No, my mood is fine for sure. I'm like yeah, just tired. Yeah, yeah, same here. Just making sure. Just checking in on my buddy, you know. Let's go, Ninja. Let's go. Yeah! I wish I could jump in the boat like that. That'd be sweet. Oh, we get to see the Cascade again. Oh, so do that. I'm getting my head too. I don't know if that's a good idea. Gonna... Oh, yes, he's just doing it anyways. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Yeah, who cares what Adam says? Okay, I'm gonna start. Are you, are you okay? Yeah. All right, scare the rattlesnakes away with the big stomps. Got a harness, stomp a Tom Connor. Oh, he'll suck. Oh, that was so much fun. I don't know how I could have more fun than that. Blasty blast. Well, good news, you get to do it again. Oh, yippee. Back for the packs in round two. That blazing sun, she's cooking. looking back here for? I wonder why you're not paddling. <sighs> if I did that every time you stop paddling. This looks like there's more of a channel. Like, here, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Last portage of the day. It is still so beautiful outside, not even a breeze. I cannot, I can't see a storm coming. It just doesn't feel like it. But we're getting to camp nice and early. We're supposed to be meeting someone here today. And she's a trooper if she's coming in when they're calling for thunderstorms, so <laughs> we'll see. Sometime in the next two to three hours, the wind should pick up, the clouds should roll in. Dude, and the look rain at the sky. Start. There's not even a breeze. It's beautiful. It's I know. Not, it's not storming. There's it's no so, storm. I know, but that's that's what the weather said. The weather said it would be like this until it wasn't. <laughs> and it was just like an instant change. You would think that there would be at least like a some breeze. clouds. Yeah, a breeze, some clouds. Is this, is, it, is this what they call the calm before the storm? This must be. All right, he's saying that the storm's fake news. I think it's coming. Fake news. Fake mm. news. That's not? Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Fish. Nice. Decent. Well, get in the bowl. Oh, there goes my rod. <laughs> Rods in the water. Uh, bass. Like for sure you saw people there, you think? I think so. So we rushed all the way here to beat the storm so we didn't have to paddle in it. And the people that are at the site that we're staying at haven't left yet. <laughs> what time are they supposed to be out, do you know? Uh, either 12 or two. Oh. Yeah. Did you want to do that then? Go back to that place with the bench. Yeah, because I would like to uh, grab something to eat. Mmm. Some crappy dinner. It's craft Ben crappy, spelt with a C. Oh, right. My bad. There's our storm clouds. Part of that looks like it's raining already. At least we're not getting cooked by the sun. Right? Count our blessings. Dude, we could jump off this rock right here. So, oh, thanks for, thanks for lunch, buddy. You got it. Cheers. Mac and cheers. Mac and cheers. If, if this goes wrong, tell my wife, my kids, and my mom that I love them. And he came up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, gotta scrub down now. Don't look. Campsite's clear. Let's go. All right, here's camp.
raining. Oh boy, that wind's picking up. Here comes the storm. What are you doing with your hand down your pants, Ben? Hmm? What are you doing with your hand down your pants? Ah, oh, keeps it on the, uh, on top so it doesn't hang down. Hmm, that's suspicious. Uh, your fly is open. I'm just kidding. Oh, go. okay, sorry, jeez. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Ready? Okay, jump. I hope she likes deer flies. Yeah, oh. You know what? They don't bug me, but they sure do bother her. Hi, Pop. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. Oh, you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. I think I know you guys. Hi. Are they on our TV? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Our special guest that we've been talking Hi. about all weekend. We're like, she's coming, she's coming, she said she's coming. I'm just always late. So Brittany is somebody that Ben and I both kind of met through Instagram. It's Black Pearl Kayaking, right? Yeah. Um, nice. Oh, wait, there's the shirt. And the logo. Yeah. Sweet. Dope. My dad made that. He was sick of me looking like a hobo <laughs> in the woods. So he made me a bunch of t-shirts. I'm like, thanks, dad. That's super cool. Right? You just checked the radar? Yeah. And what's the radar saying? Okay, so the radar just said like the storm we were supposed to get yeah. actually ducked south. So like Kingston and that's Sweet. getting it right now. Who said the storm wasn't coming? Who said the storm wasn't coming? <laughs> <laughs> Stop jinxing things. It'll be like a new storm comes all yeah. of a sudden. No, it's not right? coming. I was right. Yeah. Look at you. Oh, no, you had a deer fly on your nose, eh? Okay. Like, right. yeah, this is Lady May. The second she is a sweetheart. I... We were gonna do fishing on this lake, but then Brittany showed up and said that there's a really awesome lake. So we got to do a bit a bit of a paddle and we got to do some portaging. All good fishing requires a portage, right? which is why everybody should buy a kayak or a canoe. A paddle is better, right? Gas is expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go fishing. Snacks, 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 snacks. Oh, snacks, yeah, great call. You wouldn't be able to deal with me if you didn't have snacks. I could hardly deal with you with snacks. Until I had investor people kind of like, do you want to do this? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? Like, you know, like camping with an angler kayak and like adventure fishing is like this whole really new area. Yeah, right. Brittany, I have a question for you. Yeah. That term, adventure fishing, is that something you just came up with or is that a thing? Uh, so me and my uh, paddle group of girls were like, what am I? Like I was going to get cars made and we were like, oh. I, I love that phrase. It seems very like legit. I would love to use that. <laughs> no, no, no. That's new angler or like. Okay, I'll tell you what. If, if I use it, I'll credit you with that. I love that term. <laughs> Oh, watch that hook. Whoa. That was close. <laughs> I've never seen the canoe go that sideways. <laughs> Um, <laughs> chill out, calm down. I'm sorry, are you, did you suddenly like lose your sight? Uh, out of my ass, yeah. <laughs> well, you had to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like getting you worked up. You have some snacks, man, you're so grumpy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a grumpy one. <laughs> Just had on a hula popper. Been a long time since I fished a popper, but the moving baits don't seem to be doing it. Watch this. This is gonna get bit right here, actually. I just... You promise? Yeah. Wow. Nice bite. Yeah. Right back there, you said? Yeah. I'm actually shocked that we've not gotten a good. Oh, got fish. Feels good. Can you get the net? Let's say a little bit more pan. Get the net! Oh gosh, come on. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Nice bass. Finally a bucket. Back in the water. 
Okay, ready to go. Yes. Sheesh. The popper, the hula popper. Glad I made that move. Okay, it's raining. We got a mission back because we're not sure what, if anything, is open. Oh, I gotta be honest, though, that rain feels nice. It does, yeah. I like it. I just hope the other stuff doesn't happen. Uh, I, it right in. Uh, I wasn't gonna say it. Beauty night out on a lake. Water's glass. Sky is gorgeous. Get that thermostat going, bud. Oh, yeah. oh don't, don't drink over here, dog! Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's always in the worst spot. Good thing I already smell like a wet dog. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I said the thing and now they're mm, they're coming around. Okay, burritos for dinner for me. Ben, what are you having for dinner? Uh, shrimp curry. Mmm, I've had that before. Ha, ah, look it. Now look at <laughs> Nice. The direction the wind's going, we could have a tailwind on the way out of here today, which would be incredible. The storm never came though. <laughs> since 6 30. <clears throat> I was not in any rush. I just woke up. I felt rested so I got out of bed. Did some fishing. Lost a big bass. I threw the fluke over here. Hooked up. The fish jumps. I guess threw it. The rod like came back. Boom, hit me right in the head. <laughs> I just started boiling water but I'll boil more if you want your coffee. I'm not ready. Don't worry. Okay. What do you got for breakfast this morning Brittany? I have dehydrated potatoes going with Bacon grease and semi pre cooked bacon. <laughs> um, you repeat it back up to temperature. I say, you know, a little germs. Can I see that? The bacon grease trick? Yeah, sure. So I collect all my bacon grease and then I, I leave it in a mason jar for the most part in my fridge. And then I'll fry more bacon and I put it in the bottom and then I basically like heat up my mason jar and pour a thick layer over top. It's like bacon butter. Yeah, it really is. And it keeps the air out of it that helps it just like keep it from not. It's genius. Right? <laughs> Most people, when they bring bacon, they bring that like pre-cooked, like ready-made bacon and it's like so gross. Yeah. Lady May, what are you doing? What do you got? You got a stick? Hey, you can come say hi? Hey puppy, hi. You want the stick? Ready, go get the stick. Well, it was awesome meeting you. It was awesome sure. meeting you too. Yeah, finally in person, yeah. Well, what was awesome was you took us to another like do some bass fishing and otherwise we would have sat around and done a lot of nothing. So that made it a little more exciting. You got a seat in your beard. You totally do. But you know what? Taking nature home with you is sometimes the extra fun. You never grown a tree in your beard before? <laughs> Not yet. Should I? So make sure you check out Black Pearl Kayaking on Instagram. She's got some awesome content. If you want to see a badass woman doing some outdoor stuff, check it out. <laughs> and trying to train an adventure puppy. And trying to train an adventure puppy. Yeah. Lady Mate, bless you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And also, uh, thanks for that term. We're going to take that term adventure fishing, I think. Yeah. You guys are canoe adventure anglers. Yeah. It's, it's the way to angle these days, don't you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Catch you later. Guys, tight lines. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you don't know what to do. Hi. Oh, bye, girl. It was nice meeting you too. Yes, you're yeah. a sweetheart. Say goodbye. <laughs> you coming with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay. All right. See you guys. Bye. See ya. Bye. What an incredible weekend. Had no idea that we would actually. <laughs> Succeed with our goal. <laughs> All the things we were looking forward to. All the things we, yeah. Everything worked in our favor. We're on the paddle home. We got a tailwind. Like, what more can you ask for? This is awesome. It was absolutely wonderful meeting Brittany. She's super cool and also extremely knowledgeable in the area. We'll catch you later.